Donald Tusk UK will follow EU law and pay but will be powerless during two-year transition. The President of the European Council said that Brexit means the UK will be stripped of any of its rights while it remains in the single market during a transition period. Mr Tusk said, as you know the UK has asked for a transition of about two years while remaining part of the single market and customs union and will be ready to discuss this but naturally we have our conditions I propose that during this period the UK will respect the whole of EU law including new law. It will respect budgetary commitments, it will respect judicial oversight and of course all related obligations. Clearly within the transition period following the UK's withdrawal EU decision-making will continue among the 27 member states, without the UK. All of what I have said seems to be the only reasonable solution and it is in the interest of all our citizens that it is agreed as soon as possible. This is why I will ask the EU leaders to mandate our negotiator to start these talks immediately. At an upbeat and conciliatory press conference at the EU Commission's headquarters this morning Theresa May and Jean-Claude Juncker said that both sides had made compromises in order to achieve an agreement. Negotiators have now published the full text of the agreement, which Mrs May said her DUP partners had agreed to back after significant improvements were made. Mr Juncker said, Prime Minister May has assured me that it has the backing of the UK government. The Commission has just formally decided to recommend to the European Council that sufficient progress has been made on the terms of the divorce. Today's result is, of course, a compromise. As in any negotiation both sides had to listen to each other adjust their position and show a willingness to compromise. It is a result of a long and tense discussion between the Commission negotiators and those of the UK. I am hopeful, confident sure that the member states will share our appraisal and allow us to move to the next phase of the negotiations. Mrs May told reporters the new text represents a significant improvement on the draft rejected by the DUP on Monday. She said the agreement had required significant give and take and was in the best interests of the whole of the UK. She said, this was a question of coming together and working together for agreements that were in the best interests of either side. I hope and expect we will be able to get the endorsement of the 27 to what is a hard-won agreement in all of our interests.